Hello everyone. Okay, welcome to Advanced English Lessons. Uh, today I have lots of things to really discuss with my global audience members. And if you can see, okay, I have different textbooks, okay, English textbooks, different English textbooks, okay, that I have that I've gone through, that I've read, that I would like to really share insights, okay, with my global audience in order to improve their proficiency, okay, in this very important, okay, uh, language. Do not forget, English language is the universal language or is the, let's say, the global lingua franca. It is the language of the internet, etc. So it is important that students and individuals, okay, improve uh, their proficiency in this or their competency in this, uh, in this regard. So today, uh, things that we, we are going to be discussing has to do with idioms, okay, adjectives, English expressions, phrases, okay, advanced English, basic English, etc. Uh, the first one has to do with, the, with uh, idiom. For example, it is generally um, used, or if you, if you check textbooks, okay, you're going to actually see the statement that, um, that uh, it rained cats, okay, and dogs. Uh, but the truth is, is, according to native speakers, they said that is incorrect and that the correct way of saying it is thus. It is pouring outside or it is really coming down. So you just have to be very careful. English is so dynamic. It is not static, just like mathematics where all over the world, 2 plus 2 is a 4. Then the other one is, uh, I was beaten blue-black. When you say I was beaten blue-black, okay, by my uh, dad, okay blue black has to do with the fact that you you were extremely cautioned not even cautioned you, you were uh, that you actually received a kind of a corporal punishment from your dad that your dad daddy decided to punish you to beat you mercilessly then the other one uh, has to do with uh, that the president or the queen or the king okay has kicked the bucket okay the kick the bucket okay means died or passed on then another thing that we're going to be looking at today is, for example, if you you went to the stadium to watch okay, a very interesting match, so there's a way that you, uh, you, you intend describing it okay, to your friends. Okay, you, you could actually say that the match that I went to the stadium and that the match that was played there was a very interesting match. Okay, it was a remarkable match. Okay, it was a stunning match. Okay, it was a thrilling and an excited uh, match. So these are various uh, uh, kind of qualifiers that you could actually use, okay, to describe, to, to, to paint that picture, that mental picture, okay, in the minds of your uh, listeners. And then the other one has to do with, if you visit a restaurant, for example, okay, there are some Polish expressions that you could actually use. Okay, could you please, madam, or could you please, madam, serve me a cup of coffee? Okay, may I sit down on this chair, please? Okay, may I use a restroom, madam, or say? Then the last okay, one for today has to do with, um, let me share this, uh, this basic and advanced okay, expression. Okay, the basic one has to do with, you keep making the same mistake. That is the basic way of expressing it. But the advanced way of expressing it, okay, goes to us. That time and time again, you make the same mistake. Uh, thank you for your time. Please subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'm dedicated to improving your fluency in this uh, subject or in this language that is extremely key to success in the 21st century. I shall see you in the next video.